Hi, uh, welcome to 1500ESPN.com. Derek Wetmore and Andrew Kramer out here from Winter Park, where the Vikings today announced that Christian Ponder will indeed be the starter again Sunday versus the Green Bay Packers. Andrew, you're at the press conference. What did Frazier and Ponder have to say about the decision? Uh, well, basically, he just came out nonchalantly said our quarterback will be Christian Ponder. Uh, basically, he said it was because of the history that he has against Green Bay. Uh, he, he didn't come out and say that he was uncomfortable putting other guys out there, be it Freeman, out there at Lambeau Field on the road against the Packers. He said he feels like this week, again, it's a week-to-week -week decision. There's not going to be any commitment past Sunday. It's going to be that way all season, it seems. But there doesn't seem to be any commitment past this week. It's going to be Ponder because of his quote-unquote success. And then Peterson, or excuse me, then Frazier backtracked and said, not success at Lambeau. He's played at Lambeau, so that's why we're going to put him out there. Well, it's tough to say that he succeeded this season either, but he certainly played. Yeah, yeah, and, and Ponder came out to the podium and, and said that there was no kind of sit down and say, hey, I know you had those two picks, but this is why we're going to start you. It was, no, it was just Frazier came up and said, hey, you're going to be the starter. Forget about last week. Let's get ready to go. So that, that's where it's at. You were also just viewing that practice, checking in on the roster. Uh, Adrian Peterson's kind of people's big concern yeah. right now with the groin injury. Where is he at with that? Basically, Adrian Peterson is going to – he did not practice today, at least the open portion of media uh, – uh, the, the practice was available, excuse me, the open, open portion that we saw. Uh, but Peterson's limited with that groin injury. He was clearly limited on Sunday. Yeah. He only broke one tackle. It is a tough Seattle defense, but he only broke one tackle. That's not like Adrian Peterson. Uh, so he's clearly limited by that. He's going to be limited all week. And Frazier said he was, quote, unquote, cautiously optimistic about Peterson playing on Sunday. And uh, with a lost season, fans got to just want to put him away and save him for the long run. Yeah, I've heard that speculation, too, that it doesn't help much at this point to have Peterson, which would then mean that Toby Gerhardt would be in line for a yeah. bigger role. He's a unrestricted free agent at the end of the season. Uh, Gerhardt had his biggest workload this Sunday. He Carried the ball seven times for 67 yards. He also had a catch for seven yards and played special teams. He said in the locker room this afternoon, it was the first time he woke up the next day feeling really sore and thinking, geez, I actually did play a full game. It was a double whammy, too, for him, too, because Matt Asiato was out, mm -hmm. and he had to take his place on special teams, kickoff, right. kickoff return, and stuff like that. And then he had to fill in and take seven carries for Peterson at the end of the game where he gained more yardage than Peterson for the first time in a long yeah. time. Yeah, and I asked him if he felt that this was an audition then the rest of the season for his free agency. He wouldn't touch that question. Understandably so. Yeah, what's yeah. the point in riling feathers, uh, I guess, or ruffling feathers, excuse me. But, you know, this does seem to be a good opportunity for Gerhardt to showcase kind of his talents, whether it's for the Vikings to re-sign him or some other team to come knocking in free agency. We were just touching on injuries, and one other one that people have been asking a lot of questions about is wide receiver Greg Childs. Yep. What's the latest with him? Uh, I spoke with him in the locker room. You kind of know the logistical rules a little bit better. I'll, I'll let you explain that. Yeah, and he tore two tendons in each of his knees about over a year ago uh, in their annual scrimmage and training camp. It would have been, you know, around the beginning of August. And he hasn't been on the practice field with the Vikings during the season, obviously, since, you know, way before then. So he's never really been able to touch the practice field in season in his young career. So it's great to see him back out there. He was running routes, uh, looked sharp. We had seen him run routes in training camp. He was out on practice field with them. Uh, in, you know, in, in, not in training camp, excuse me, but obviously in June in the, in the mini camps and the, in the places he was able to get out there with the NFL rules. When you're on the PUP list, like he has been for the past couple months, you're not allowed to even uh, go on the field with your teammates. He's had to work by himself. Uh, even when they're indoors in the field house, he's over by himself just working out. So it's great to see him with his receiver core, with Coach uh, George Stewart, with the wide receivers, actually getting work in now. There's no guarantee that he's going to be able to join the active roster. There's no guarantee he's going to see the field this season because they they brought him off a PUP. They got 21 days to decide now what to do with him. Mm -hmm. And basically the options are you can either activate him, put him on the practice squad, or cut him. Uh, I believe the option might be open to put him on IR. I'm not clear of those rules there. But they have, they have options to keep him for next year to see what he can do. But these 21 days are going to be huge for him yeah. to show coaches that I've I've overcome this injury, and I can give you give you more down the field. Right. He said he's going to stick with whatever plan they have for him. He'll do as much in practice. Yeah, so does that mean you're 100%? Are there no limitations? And he said, I'm going to stick with the plan that they gave us. He kind of dodged that <laughs> yeah. one. The latest that he would be allowed to then be added, he's eligible to be added to the roster tomorrow if yep. they choose. Uh, but the 21-day mark starts on Monday is my understanding. So that would make him eligible then at the latest for the Philadelphia Eagle game. Uh, Eagles game if they want to put him on the active roster yeah but it does certainly remains to be seen what he'll what his fate will be 
with this team. Most likely, yeah. And there's there's uh, more injury news as well, too. Center John Sullivan uh, did not clear uh, the concussion protocol yet, so he was not practicing today. Uh, he suffered the concussion on uh, trying to tackle Bobby Wagner, a linebacker for the Seahawks, on Ponder's first interception. Yeah. So we can't – maybe he's one of the guys that isn't too happy to hear that Ponder's starting again because it's his fault that he's concussed and out. But uh, aside from that, uh, Joe Berger took the first team snaps at practice for Sullivan. Adrian Peterson obviously wasn't at practice. Greg Jennings still wasn't at practice. Uh, he's been hampered by that Achilles injury that forced him to be inactive on Sunday. Uh, and then linebacker Aaron Henderson was not at practice either. We'll find out uh, after practice exactly what his issue was. Speaking of linebackers, Desmond Bishop was back in the building today. He's been rehabbing, I believe, in Florida. And uh, he said he was really excited to get back up to the cold. Um, but then after that joke, I said, but come on, you got to be happy about being with your teammates. And he said, yeah. that's absolutely the reason that he felt like it was good to come back. He, he's walking gingerly around the locker room. Of course, expectations are limited for what you're going to get out of him. But he said it was good to kind of get out of the droning monotony of rehab and be with the teammates again. Uh, anything else to add, Andrew? Uh, I think <laughs> no, after the quarterback, it. it's pretty tough to figure out yep. what's going on over here at Winter Park. But Andrew does what he can. He does a good job uh, so far. For Andrew Kramer at Winter Park, I'm Derek Whatmore. Thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com.